I want to apologize to the people in Singapore. というのもシンガポールのグルメって本当は超多彩なのに気づいたら似たようなものばかり食べてることに気づいたんですね。So in this video, I will only be trying the unique foods of Singapore, those I never tried before. I'm trying the not so typical Malay food, Zucha food you might have never tried before, with a local actor, Ben Yeo, and unique halal food made by Idia, who was a finalist on MasterChef Singapore. The only goal is to showcase and shed light on the unique foods of Singapore. Hello from Kampong Glam. This is known as Singapore's Muslim Quarter with the iconic Sultan Mosque and many delicious Muslim eaters. How are you? Long time no see. So, this is Fazli, my Malay Singaporean viewer. We did a, he, he taught me how to fast. I'll put the link around here if you're curious on how it went. But today, Fazli, I want you to introduce me to a very unique Malay slash Muslim cuisine. Okay, I think I know for a place. All right, let's show you guys there. Let's go. All right, thank you. Yep. All right, we're here. So this is one of the best places to have Malay food here. Awesome. Yeah. It's 2 p.m. but so crowded. Huh? Yeah, it's, it's very popular among here, like among the Malay communities down here. All right, wow. Oh, look at the energy. It looks so authentic. Today we're going to be trying the nasi ambang. Never heard of that. Wow, look at the kitchen. Here goes the fish. Snowing amazing. All right, now we're going to watch them prepare the nasi ambang. Wow, that's a lot of rice, huh? Yeah. Uh, whoa, here goes, I guess that's tofu. Looks like tofu. Yeah, and that's the beef rundown. Whoa, looks delicious. Yeah. Here goes uh, intestine, I guess. Yeah. Oh, yeah. nuts and ikambiri. Yeah. Some daoge. So many things on the plate. This is the standard dish that you have <laughs> on nasi ambak. Oh. <laughs> Alright, is it complete? Oh, no, 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 still got more. Yeah. Chili. Chili. Oh, yeah. Sambal. Thank you, thank you, Terimakasi. Wow, very big. <laughs> it's like a monster platter. All right, so Fazili, what is the nasi ambang? Okay, so nasi ambang is actually a traditional dish which originated from the Java community back in Indonesia. Okay. So, and this is mainly served during like special occasions or a joyous occasion. Oh, it's, yes. a, it's like a festive food. Yeah, it's, it's like birthdays. Yes, yes, or for birthdays or anything that, that's, happening, that good, that's good happening in the family. Yeah, it's interesting because it's obviously made for sharing, right? Because the portions are big. So you, the family gather, friends gather and eat. Okay, so mainly we will start with the, the beef rendang. This is a must. Yeah, oh, look at the beef rendang. Wow, this is cooked for very long, right? It is. So tender. We call this the surrounding. This is the coconut. Oh. Yes, yes. It yes. looks spicy though. It looks spicy, but actually it's a bit of... Um, it's very sweet. Ooh, it's spicy. Like, yeah. so I'll grab yeah, that. Just like that. Wow. Just a pinch of it. Ooh. This, I'll take a bit of the beef right now. <laughs> why, is, why, why is my so big and you're so small? You make me look very greedy, Fazri. <laughs> no, why, uh? it's just that I, I want to try all the other dishes. <laughs> okay, got it, got it. Okay, yeah. cheers. Mm. <laughs> this is delicious, man. So you can actually feel that the surrounding is a bit sweet. I find it so beautifully constructed because beef rendang of obviously you know a bit spicy, mm -hmm. savory, but the the coconut is sweet and it gives a totally different dimension. Okay, so next we're gonna try the paru. I think I never tried this. So interesting. Which part of uh, beef is this? Uh, paru is the lungs. Cheers. Fazi, this is the first time I had this, but it's delicious. So first it's bitter, right? But later you get to taste that sweetness. Got a nice uh, chewy texture too. By the way, later I'm trying unique zucha food with Ben Yeo. So that's coming up, so stay tuned. Okay, what should we try next? The sambal goreng. Okay. Yeah, so this is like the meat, the most common dishes uh -huh. in nasi ambang actually. It's tofu, right? It's tofu, yeah. Mmm, that's good. The clean tofu taste. Very spongy, yet firm. Fazi, are there any like interesting facts that like even some Singaporeans don't even know about this? Okay, um, mainly as you guys can see, it's being served in a very big platter. It's seldom being served uh, on a per plate basis. Yeah, so it's never really small. No. Yes, and it's mainly, um, it's being purposely put on a platter so that you guys won't finish it completely. It's meant for you to leave it a little bit and bring it home. I feel like some cultures are crossing right now because you know Chinese culture, when there are guests, you serve like foods they cannot even finish. Yeah. And that's kind of happening to this Malay cuisine as well. Yes, it is. The daoge with French beans, I believe. Mmm, that's a beautiful crunch. Yeah, so this is the ayam lemak. Get some of the meat, that's chicken breast. Yeah. It's very tender. I love that. It's actually quite spicy, very coconutty. 
super flavorful. Okay, wait, wait, wait. let's let's. It's a bit hot, lah. It is. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna teach you how we're gonna do it. <laughs> yeah, please, please. So we we'll start with like um getting your your meat first. Okay. You just get it. So small. Enough, man. Sambal goreng here. Okay. And then we'll pinch everything with all your fingers. Oh, it's like a pinching yeah, movement. Yeah, it's like a pinching movement. And there you go. And make it like a bowl shape so everything oh. like doesn't fall off. Mm. And then you go, you go inside your mouth. There you go. Wait, let me try. Pinch. Here it goes, nothing. Yeah. Pinch. Bowl shape. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this, this is not that easy, you know. It looks easy, but... Okay, can? Yeah. Then I kind of... Okay, yeah, like okay. this, right? Yeah, and it goes straight. I push using my thumb, yeah, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I think I look very unglamorous. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you look like this. <laughs> I feel like eating with your hands is definitely more delicious. Okay, we have this... I won't say myth, but it's just that when we were taught, uh, when, what we were taught since we were young was that food that comes from the hand, it tastes much more authentic. Thank you so much. Very good. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right, Fazi, thank you so much for introducing Nasi on Bang to us. I hope you guys like it, man. Like, yeah, it was amazing. Yes. Thank you so much. You have a good day. Yes. I'll see you again. See you, man. Oh. All right, guys, more delicious food coming up. Hey Ben! Hi, long time, time no long time see! see. Hello. So hello. this is Ben Neo, the actor slash chef. Oh, hello, you look, hello. You look good, huh? How much? Uh, you too. Yeah. And I see you are like getting more and more. <laughs> thanks to Singapore. Yeah, yeah <laughs> thanks, thanks to Singapore. Singapore. You have a store. Yes. My store that I'm going to introduce today is the Chaco Fish Head Ooh. Steamboat. So actually in Singapore, it's a popular dish. The whole concept is about my childhood memory because right. during my childhood, only we only have steamboat, this uh. charcoal steamboat, once a year during Chinese New Year. Oh, it's a festive yeah. special cuisine. Yes, and I enjoyed the moment with, with my siblings, my family, everybody sit together and eat together. All right, we're going inside the kitchen. What do you think of the cook? Signature Yu Tou Lu charcoal fish head steamboat. You first put in the cabbage, now the soup. Oh, what's up, Ben? Uh, this is the fried fish, fried fish head. Goes all the additional sauces. Wow, oh, here it is. Right inside the. Whoa! Look at the view. It's flattery. Dancing. Because of the charcoal in the middle, right? Oh my gosh, it's dancing like crazy. Now, Chef is preparing uh, the yam wing. Yeah, so I think that circular yeah. thing is the, the yam. It's gonna get deep fried, super high heat. Now the yam wings ready. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's so crispy. And this creates the wok head. Overflowing seafood. Alright, wow, it's gonna, it's gonna get cut by Ben Neo. Uh, my question is how much extra fee do I have to do I have to pay to get this for you? Especially for you. Alright, Ben. Yes. What a feast we have. So I see pork, veggies. Fish, yam ring. So I think we're gonna have to start with soup. It's like a welcome drink. <laughs> yeah. And at the same time to taste the original taste of the hot pot. Of course, yeah. Before putting in the fish. Yeah. I think I only tried it like three or four times. I know I love it though. Come by. Cheers. Come by. Yeah. It's so good. Yeah. I think, yeah, it's definitely one of the best I, I had. Um, thank you. It's so just milky almost. It's very uh, tasty, yeah. flavorful. Thank you. What's the secret? Use our heart to cook. <laughs> yeah, that's the yeah. secret. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. and of course every step we do, we don't do shortcut. Yeah, and our broth we actually cook it for very long. Like, why do you think Singaporeans love this so much? This dish is not originated from Singapore for sure. Oh. It's from China, long, 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 long time ago, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, only the emperor, the rich one, they will get to eat this dish. And why charcoal? will taste a little bit different because when you drink, somehow you will smell the charcoal. Right. Yeah, it's actually from here. So when you drink and you inhale yeah, yeah, a bit yeah, of the charcoal, yeah. the smell of the charcoal, and eventually you will become like a, chemis like a chemistry reaction okay. and make the soup more flavorful. Right. And there are already some ingredients inside, right? Yeah, uh, white cabbage, tomatoes. Tomatoes? Oh. Yeah. We also have the fried fish head. 
Oh, yeah. Why it's called a fish head steamboat is because of the fried fish head, right? Interesting. If I'm not mistaken, it's from Teochew. Teochew? Yeah, Teochew is always very good at fish. Yeah, seafood, right? Yeah, seafood, yeah. fish. Because so you're Teochew, right? I'm Hokkien. Oh, oops, oops sorry. Oh, so Ben is Hokkien. I think Hokkien. it's now's the timing to use my new learn Hokkien. Really? Oh, yeah, bro. Oh, yeah. Wait, how would you rate that? Was that like a, like a solid 90 or like uh, a... For a Japanese, I should say 9 out of 10. Yes. yes. Ooh yeah, ooh yeah. Ooh yeah, bro. All right, so while waiting for the fish, um, I think, okay, I, I usually like to go to Kang Kong. This is something I will always order. Cheers. Good. Oh, the oh, crunch. Oh, shit. The strong flavor. Spicy too, garlicky, prawny. Amazing dish. So, what is this again? Heizo. Is, is this uh, the no hyun or a bit different? Okay, it's a bit different, but same, same, but different. Yeah, then I think I never tried it. Wow, smells very prawny. How much? The prawns chunky, the pork also very flavorful. Very traditional way is to dip this sauce. Oh, is the fish ready, man? Yeah. Wow, the fish looks so fresh and plump. Dip it in the homemade chili. I just love this dish. We yeah. should have this in Japan though. So nice. Why not? Yeah, why not? Let's do it in Japan. Wow, maybe we can make it big in Japan, man. Yeah. Mmm. That's a good idea, actually. That's yeah, but idea. we need to find an investor, right? Yeah, I think oh. any Japanese, if you are interested... Actually, you don't have to be Japanese. You just have to be rich. <laughs> give, give us money. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Alright, so this is the yam ring. And this dish actually been around for very long. I was wondering, is this a Chinese creation or it's like, like a Singaporean creation? This is a Singapore creation. Mm. Whoa, so crispy. I see the yam! Wow, look at the plump prawns the and sotong. Hmm. That's so fresh. So this dish, I think I never tried before, Ben. Nan ru, nan yu do ke. What does it mean? Nan, uh, fermented binker. So fermented bean curd. Fermented bean curd. So they're cutting this uh, thin piece. It's pork. Wow. Mmm. Wow. Yeah, the flavor is so unique. It has this fermented aroma, but not too strong. It's just nice and mommy. I'm in love with this dish. Because uh, it turned a bit soggy, but the flavor is still good. This is a YouTuber life, by the way. Uh, the, your food gets cold sometimes. <laughs> Even. The traditional media always eat cold food. Always. Oh, I think worse than YouTube, I think. <laughs> I have a question. Uh, yeah. What's the longest you waited for a food? The crew had to film, right? Mm. <laughs> what's the longest? 30 minutes to 45 minutes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there about. Yeah, there about. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Are, are you going to get screwed by Media Corp? Like, you're, you're spoiling so much information. I think everybody know about it. <laughs> and it's good because the, the pay is good, right? The pay? You mean they pay me? Yeah. Ah, so this is your new menu? Yeah, this is something new. It's a very long time dish in Singapore or even in Malaysia. Ooh. Yeah, it's like a barbecue stingray, sambal stingray. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I love stingray. Do you know this dish actually originated from where? Quiz time Singapore. Wrong. China. Wrong. Oh, Malaysia. Wrong. Indonesia. Wrong. Your, your cousin. <laughs> no, of course not. <laughs> Your mom? No, of course not. This Your dad? Was okay. Very, very long time ago. Oh. It's from Portuguese. Ooh, yeah, bro. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. This is from Portuguese. But it's not, not with sambal. It's just oh. like a barbecue fish. Right. That the Portuguese brought it to Malacca. Singapore kind of evolved it in its own way. Not only Singapore, it actually evolved from Malaysia first. Right, right, because right, right, right. the Portuguese went to yeah. Malacca, right? Oh. So they bring eventually they will bring their food, their culture. Right, so this right. is one of the dishes that actually passed down from there. They don't have their own ingredients. Yeah. So they have to find some other replacement. Eventually the local they evolved. Right, right, right. This dish into this, like what we have now. Mm. The chow chowness is like almost zero. The what? The 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 chow chow ness. Chow chow chow. <laughs> Sorry, my whole my whole game sucks. Chow chow. Oh, chow chow. Not chow chow. <laughs> not not fishy. Yeah yeah yeah. yeah. Uh, how would you rate my chow chow? Zero. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because we didn't understand it. <laughs> okay, I need to work on it. Okay, I think my mother-in-law will train me. Mm, well, wow. oh, the okra are very nice. Yeah, it's called yang chow chow. Okay, yang yang chow chow. Yeah. Yang chow is like. Go on. Yang chow chow. Yang chow chow. Yang chow chow. Yang chow chow is bad. 
Bad, bad. Sounds, sounds bad. Thank you, Sia. All right, we have one more unique food to try, and the location is. So we came to Woodlands, which is the city nearest to JB Malaysia, and we're here to try out a super unique cuisine by someone famous. Wow, I think I really smell it. Hi, here we are. Wow, nice to meet you. It's so cool. I watch MasterChef, man. Oh man. Iria from MasterChef. Thank you for having us. Hi, 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 hi. Come in, come in, come in. Oh, look at it. Nikon Jam. So plump, huh? Okay, so this is Idia from uh, Master Chef Season 3, finalist, right? Yeah, top 5. Top 5, it's amazing to meet him. So, you, you do home based business here? Yeah. Can you talk about it? Yeah, so we, we sell bachangs, halal bachangs from home, catering to Muslims and non Muslims. Nah. Halal, halal bachang. I don't think I, I ever tried that. Yeah, not, there's not many out there. So, can I see how you sure. prepare it? Yeah. Awesome. Dried chili that's blended. And then we're gonna put our rendang paste. Yeah, this is homemade. Okay, this part where he puts the rendang paste, that makes it very unique. And the rice turns to red. So make a cone and then you scoop the rice in two chunks of beef. What's this orange thing? Salted egg yolk, bro. Oh! Yeah, it's massive. So you tuck in the top, tuck in the other side. Wow. And then flip it over, fold in the sides, the wings. The other side. You make it look very easy, but I assume <laughs> it's not, right? So this is the bak chang version of the traditional Malay dish, le, le pat. Yeah. Wow, so unique. Traditional flavors, but then the shape is not traditional. Yeah, yeah. Oh, then you put the bak chang. Yeah. Wow. So with the mushrooms and chili padi. Yeah. The chai dao kui style. Hey. All right, Moha wow, looks beautiful. Yeah. Wow. Enjoy. So this is your bachang, and mm -hmm. it's super unique. Yeah, this is the fried bachang. Fried chunks. Never seen such thing. Is it like your own creation? Yeah, I decided to 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 make something different uh, from something that I've already been doing. Wow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but I think we have to start from the bachang. Yeah. And but I got a secret sauce for that. Oh, secret sauce. Yeah. This is okay. a rendang sauce. Slightly spicy, wow. but it goes together. Super interesting fusion. But before that, I want to ask you a question. Like, yeah. do, do you know the origin of bachan? Because I think a lot of my viewers, uh, they're not really familiar, especially my Japanese viewers. Right. And when do we eat this? Right, so uh, once upon a time, there was a well-loved poet in China mm -hmm. who fell to the river. And some okay. fishermen didn't want the fishes to eat his body, so okay. they decided to make rice dumplings and then they threw it to the river so that the fishes eat the, the rice dumpling instead. So ever since then, to commemorate this, people started making rice dumplings. So the story is that it's yummier than human yeah. dumplings. I see. Apparently. Wow, so chunky and big. Mmm. Wow. The base is actually that traditional bacham. I'm quite surprised because I saw you put in all the you know chili and stuff, and he recommends putting this. Now this is not right. traditional. It's not traditional. It's a rendang sauce. Mmm, spicy. <laughs> <laughs> now it's like super rendang now. It's like eating rendang but in a bacang form. This is so cool because like, I think even like the Chinese can enjoy something like this. Yeah. yeah. I mean it's not meant just for the Muslim yeah. customers. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Like why did you decide to do this, sell this? Right, so my mom used to make this. That's where it, it, I got introduced to this. Mm. Uh, but she does it small scale. So I decided to take the recipe from her so that I can do it more often. And I thought uh, there are people out there just like me who wants to eat this more often. So I wanted to branch it out to mm. people who don't have access to halal bachang. Okay, next, we're trying the pot in bachang form. Mm. No, the coconut. It's fresh, yeah. So lepat is usually eaten with like something else, like a side dish, like a rendang or, or, or uh -huh. the kualama or sambal. Mm. Yeah. So this is the beef rendang that we added to the mm. bachang earlier. Mm, it's delicious. Mm -hmm. So good. So this is fried chunks. I got the inspiration first from a Chinese convert. Okay. So she shared with me that her family used to get uh, leftovers bak chunks okay. and then she will cut it out and then the family will fry it. Oh. Yeah, but I don't know how exactly she fried it, so I thought, why don't I put my own spin on it? Lah? Mushrooms added, chili yeah. padi added to it as well. 
we might be able to ch chow that kuei really, like the color. <laughs> okay, but I have no clue how it tastes like, so quite excited to try. Mmm, mmm, it's so good. So much flavor to it, like it's spicy, it's savory. Chewy also, the great creation. Is she pregnant? Very plump, huh? It's a dude. <laughs> oh, it's a, oh, oops, sorry, huh? So before saying goodbye to Iwaya, I think like a lot of my viewers are curious about, you know, Master Chef. Yeah. So my question is, is it all scripted? Uh, no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's scripted. Not that I know of. Uh, okay, uh, tell me who was the biggest douchebag. <laughs> So what's your ambition right now? Now I would like to expand chunking as a mm. business uh, to reach out to more people uh, with the fried chunks, hopefully. Uh, maybe opening up a hawker. Oh. See how. And also, uh, apart from that, I also want to uh, expand the modern Malay cuisine mm. uh, through my private dining experience called sudu.sg. Sounds fun. Supporting you. Thanks so much. See ya. You. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Well, that was really fun trying different types of cuisines from different cultures like the nasi ambeng, all the zucha dishes I never tried and of course the super unique bacha made by Ioya. Food is culture and by trying these different types of food we can learn and appreciate more about different cultures that is all around us. So thank you so much for watching. Everything I tried is in the description box below. YouTube behind the scenes. So uh, Ben, please do a different expression for the thumbnail. Happy! Happy number two. Happy number three. <laughs> Happy number four. <laughs> Happy number five. I'm really kind of run running out. Uh, shocked. Sad. Angry. Whoa. Okay, what do you sound? <laughs> Happy. Happy number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. <laughs> okay, sad. Sad. This is not very sad. Okay. <laughs> half happy, half sad. <laughs> oh, nice, nice, nice. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs>